Welcome back, and welcome to a new section on backtesting. In this first lecture, we're going to introduce what backtesting is and give an overview of what we will cover in this section of the course. So, what is backtesting? Backtesting is where we measure the performance of a forecasting model on historic data. So, we have our time series and we want to split it up so that we can use some portion of it to train our model and another portion to then test that model. Typically, when we work with tabular data, we will randomly allocate some rows to a training set and other rows to a test set. We then train the model on our training set and test it on the rows in the test set. Now, we can't use traditional methods like randomly shuffling the data into a train and validation set when working with time series data. And that's because when we work with time series data, the rows are no longer independent. So rows which are closer together in time are more likely to be similar and related to one another. The fact that we have this time ordering means that the rows are no longer independent. What can happen is that values of our time series in the future can end up in the training set and values in the past can end up in the test set. So then you're using values in the future to predict the past and this is a form of data leakage. And so backtesting is a form of cross-validation but it has been adapted for time series data and forecasting. And so we'll have our time dimension, we'll have our full data set ordered by time and then we'll create folds of the data where we preserve that temporal ordering. And we'll see that in the videos in this section of the course. So why do we need backtesting? What do we use it for? So backtesting gives us a way to quantify the performance of a forecasting model on historic data. And this gives us an estimate of what the forecasting error might be on unseen data, i.e. in the future. And this is important when we're dealing with any real-world use case where we might need to report to our stakeholder what the performance of the model is and what they might expect that performance to be in the future. And this might be used to consider whether the performance is good enough for actually being put into production. Once we can quantify the performance of a model, we can start comparing models and making choices. Should we use a tree-based model or should we use a linear model? And so backtesting is often used during model selection, feature selection and hyperparameter tuning. There are also different backtesting strategies, different ways of implementing backtesting, and they depend on the data we have and the use case at hand and we'll discuss when we would want to use a particular backtesting strategy in this section of the course. And of course, we will show how we can implement all of the various backtesting strategies in Python and have specific examples that we will work through. And so, by the end of this section, we will discuss what backtesting is and what it's used for, We'll show multiple backtesting strategies and when to use them and how to implement these methods in Python. And so I look forward to seeing you in the next videos in this course. See you then.